Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's have a bit of fun. Take a look at this. We do have the two vectors a and b like we did in the previous example, but let's ignore those for a moment. Let's say that we're trying to prove that a plus b dotted with a plus b, the dot product of the two sums of a and b, should be equal to the magnitude of a squared plus the magnitude of b squared plus twice the dot product of a and b. And we're going to do this in a general fashion first, and then we'll also show that, yes, indeed, we can get the solution by taking two vectors, like in this example. So let's first do it for any two arbitrary vectors, which means that if I'm going to add a plus b together, I can do the following. I can say that the vector a plus the vector b can be written as ax plus bx in the i direction plus ay plus by in the j direction plus az plus bz in the k direction. So we know that this is the sum of two vectors in an arbitrary sense. So now let's, let's now find the dot product between two sums like this. So if we're now going to write the following, a plus b dotted with a plus b, we should get the following result. So here we're going to multiply then the x, the x components of the two vectors. So that means that we're going to get ax plus bx multiplied times ax plus bx plus ay plus by az plus bz. So what we did here is we simply use the definition of the dot product to, to, to multiply via the dot product these two sums. So that would be the x component of the first times the x component of the second, the y component of the first times the y component of the second, plus the z component of the first times the z component of the second. So now let's just go ahead and multiply all these out. So this is equal to ax squared plus bx squared plus 2 times axbx. We do the same over here, plus ay squared plus by squared plus 2 times ayby plus az squared plus bz squared plus 2az bz. All right. Now, we're going to collect terms in a certain way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to collect all the x terms, no, all the squared x, y, and z terms of a. So we write this as ax squared plus ay squared plus az squared. So we got this term here, this term here, and this term here. Now we do the same for the b vector. So we have plus b sub x squared plus b sub y squared plus b sub z squared. And notice that's this term, that's this term, and that's this term. And now what we can do is add all the remaining terms together. So that would be t plus 2 times, because I can factor out a 2, that would be ax bx plus ay by plus az bz. And now when I take a look at this, I realize that this here is equal to the magnitude of the a vector squared. So this can then be written as a squared plus this here. We realize now that it is equal to the magnitude of b squared. So this is b squared and plus two times. Notice that this is the definition of the dot product of a and b. So this would be two times a dot b. And that's exactly what we wanted to find when we did that particular dot product. So that means that, yes, indeed, the sum of a plus b dotted with the sum of a plus b is indeed the magnitude of a squared plus the magnitude of b squared plus twice the dot product of a and b. And so that is how we prove that.